profession. I'm a part-time former shop salesman, I, and I do have to know every little detail about all these fun little gadgets. And uh, sometimes it can get quite interesting, actually. And um, this is the first lesson I'm going to give you, which is on vibrators, or if you prefer dildos, or fake cocks, or whatever. And the first one is this very beautiful, simple, but effective, a classic called Goldfinger. And uh, I think this must be one of the first dildos I've ever made, and they're quite successful still, at least in Finland. In the porno shop I'm working, and, uh, and the pros of this is uh, this one are definitely that uh, it's so simple. It looks like um, you know, it can fit into your kitchen or whatever. It looks like uh, you can squash oranges with it or whatever. And, uh, and uh, the color is a classic as well. But um, it's a very bad thing about this. They're usually made in China or Japan or whatever. And they tend to be very noisy. And it's a bad thing if you don't want to wake up your neighbors in Because you can hear this through very thin walls. Well, the me side of our male genitalia, um, as opposed to women's. And um, so, so I've never been so fond of them but women tend to like them and um, i can sure understand why and um, usually these kinds of uh, look like things the best ones are made by a german company uh, lavetta and uh, the best because of the material it's the purest and the best latex you can get and the uh, the motor is very quiet too so you won't wake up the neighbors So, this is Little Emma, Herman Impala, again still talking about dildos. And the last one I'm going to, going to show you is this beautiful emerald screw by, uh, by a um, Swedish company called um, Swedish Erotica, yes. That it was the transparent jelly material. It's, um, you know, this looks like a work of art, and uh, it's very simple because because I smoke so lots of cigarettes and uh, a lot too much and uh, drink too much, so I'm, you know, practically completely impotent. So it, it's very easy when I'm watching the TV to control the pleasure of my lady company, and uh, it's been a big hit in Finland and. Uh, because of the material of the very art-like shape and very, very good motor, even the, mmm, enough powerful, but still silent. And, uh, you know, I would choose this definitely, if it would be, if it would come to this. Green jelly thing that I 